Hello and welcome back to Battletech. If you didn't watch the previous episode, uh, no shame. The, we are in the middle of a fairly um, chunky campaign episode. Uh, Lady Arano insisted, despite my warnings and everyone else's warnings, that she must go down to um, basically investigate a armory of potential boons um for some reason and so predictably she has been like you know cornered or hemmed in by the torians who are apparently working for the directorate um it, i i feel a lot better honestly <clears throat> about my decision to you know uh work against the torians in the last few uh mercenary missions or e episodes so you know this this works for me in a in a way but uh, yeah, the, the Torians are cornering our, um, Lady Arano and uh, she's piloting something we haven't seen yet, but we know it's big and beefy. Um, I, my bet is it's not going to be as beefy as the King Crab, but you, you never know. They might throw in a mech that I've never seen and maybe this is a, a special mission where we get to ride something really cool and chunky. Command so... We are not actually piloting um, these mechs. They are being uh, guided by my main character up, uh, who is who is now in safety on uh, the Argo. So um, this is a weird mission in that we are, you know, guiding these this this crew of people completely unrelated to my company, um, but you know, from my character. It's a it's a weird one. Lady Kamea Arano of the Arano Restoration, on the behalf of the Torian Concordat. I hereby command you to oh shit iberia they're piloting sldf battle mechs we need reinforcements now oh i like that oh shit our way home is on the other side of these torians push through them and fight for the reach just a heads up when we get to a safe distance i'm gonna set off a little surprise i left behind for our torian friends nice we've got a highlander an atlas 2 a griffin that's probably our, our smallest mech and a black knight wow we, they are shooting fire at us though they've got a is that a oh that's a jenner it looked like a cicada for a moment there they're already picking on the griffin which sucks I've got a sensor tray. so we are um commanding kamea and some people we don't know have never met um the griffin uh being the lightest mech i guess gets to go first we have a extended range ppc uh, that's kind of cool um let's go ahead and fire it on uh, the fire starter can we split our shot we have a new move i've never seen before breaching shot passive attacks with a single weapon ignore cover and guard it on the target huh Cool. Roger. We managed to stray shot twice. We knocked down the fire starter. That's cool. They've got some stuff too, though. I mean, they've got a shadow hawk. I'm sure there's more coming. I've never seen a black knight. I'm interested to see what we've got here. Wow, that is a lot of firepower. Uh, coolant vent. This unit will remove 50 extra heat this round. For the next three rounds, this unit will gain an extra eight heat. There is a four round cooldown. So that's a move I haven't seen before. Um, we've got a Commando, a Jenner, and a Shadowhawk. Wouldn't mind just like... I guess we don't have any morale yet, so we can, we're going to have to kill some things. Gain that morale. And we can't just like fire... Every, oh, come on. We have to do this once. Acknowledged. It's alive. Inflicted some heavy damage. I mean, we did uh, we did absolutely cut it down a peg. That thing's got long range missiles. It's going for the Atlas. This is fine. What do you need? We've got a gauze rifle. I have heard of gauze rifles. I think Yang was talking about them. Um. Let's go for the Shadowhawk with the Gauze Rifle. We've only got a 40% chance of hitting it, though. 
I feel like maybe the gauze is a long range weapon. It is a rifle. I mean, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, let's just like try and shoot it once. I think we missed. Um, two things are on the floor right now, so we might as well do a multi hit. Wait, is that thing dead on the ground? I guess the commando is dead. Let's back up a little bit. No, it's alive. I think we were just angled badly. So we've got two extended range lasers and AC 20. We could probably aim at three things here and kill them easily. We're going to do the AC 20 on that fire starter. We'll do, um, two E extended range lasers on the commando on the ground. We'll do the rest on the Jenner. What, what is happening? God damn it. God damn this interface sometimes. <laughs> Okay, B, B, what are these pulse weapons? I don't know what those are. So I was, let's just do C. All right, that looks okay. So that's that dead. I figured the AC uh, 20 would take care of it. We might actually take out, what is this angle? What is this angle? You made me miss the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I really like this game, but there's some like little little quality of life features that just are feel very necessary. Waiting. I hate these guys. Me too. Me too. Um Probably take out that Shadow Hawk. Let's just do that. Knockdown, not dead. Pilot injured, not incapacitated. Good lord. They missed twice on the Griffin. Serves you right. Serves you right for picking on the poor Griffin. Oh man. Okay, we could try and take both these things out. Roger that. I hope we get to keep any of this. I, you know how this is going to go though, right? They're not going to let us keep it. They're not going to let us keep any of this. Roger that. Can we, can we get a kill on that Shadowhawk? There we go. What are these camera angles? Why are you doing this? I mean, I have mixed feelings about this mission, TBH. TBH. Sorry. I don't want to be a buzzkill and all, but I feel like this something like this would have been a lot more satisfying if we had earned these mechs, but they, they were just kind of thrust upon us. Let's try a gauze rifle hit on the on the torso Ooh. i mean it's a it, we get a, a small taste of what's to come and that's nice you know i i'm looking forward to legitimately having these mechs i think we can just do an aec 20 on this guy we will definitely not do an lrm 20. um yeah, let's let's set those on I am amazed that it did not die from that. Wow, the Jenner kicked me. Rude. Okay, it's time to start shooting. Um, we're gonna take a stability um, damage here, unfortunately. But we should be able to do some some pretty good damage. 
We've got an extended range PPC. Can we hit anything meaningful here? Man, I miss my... I miss my cool sniper. The sniper was so good. Um, where's the AC-10? There's the heat sink. There's the ammo. Let's hit, hit it in the ammo. Oh, here come some more vehicles. Um, yeah, we can continue firing on that enforcer. No, I can't. I guess I can't hit anything meaningful here. It's fine. Come here. Just, just like, uh, kick that thing. Yeah. That was such a that was a really good kick animation. Usually the mechs are very clunky about their like melee attacks, but that was genuinely good. The griffin is like not looking good. I don't really care if it dies. Like I have this is another problem with this kind of mission is I have absolutely no emotional like investment in any of this. Um I don't know if I get to keep anything. Probably I don't if it, you know, like if I was to guess and I'm not going to get to keep anything. So I don't care if the mechs get exploded. The only character I know here is Lady Arano, so eh. And I don't. I mean, uh, I guess the story ends if she dies, huh? pilot injured i wish we could see the pilot health i know that doesn't make any sense Order. but i kind of wish we could do that okay we should be able to do a multi-hit here maybe take a few things out how come we can't hit that guy how come we can't hit that guy okay whatever um Oh, I see. Some certain things are only visible. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. This seems okay. Copy that. It's not dead. That was that was okay. Could have been better. That enforcer is gonna get back up. One for the oh no, striker gets a turn, and that Griffin is taking a lot. Uh, we should be able to hit the panther. Can we get a multi-hit on the panther or no? Yes. Okay, let's do gauze rifle. I think I'm just going to dedicate um, the LRM-20 on the enforcer. Ooh, that was the gauze. Okay, nice. Why is Kamea so far away? I guess I haven't really been moving her up at all, have I? Um, we can do a split shot with her as well, actually. She's got some really decent range. So we'll do the extended range and the LRMs on the Panther. And we'll do like everything else on that striker, even though we probably don't have to. There we go. Yeah, I figured that AC-20 was going to take it out. For the Oregon people. Griffin is just absolutely taking several for the team. Should be able to take it out here. Uh, amazed that the thing is still standing, to be honest. Okay, the Black Knight is just, like, uh, absolutely gonna destroy this thing. Yeah, I mean, the first hit killed it, so we didn't have to lob everything at it. But, 
Okay, so we're good to go now. Confirmed. I think everything is dead. This is Lady Arena of the Ars Delphinus. Captain Grigus, do you read me? Lady Arena, thank the gods. We've got a visual on you and your lance. Get your people on board and we'll get you out of here. Thank you, Captain. Wait, what was that? Oh, no. This distance should, should be good. Hold on a second and... No, they destroyed my my little thing there. Surprise. Yang, what was that? Castle Nautilus, yeah. When I saw that the Torians were going to take it away from us, I planted a couple of demo charges in the armory, right next to the ammunition dump. That rumble you just felt was about a thousand tons of high explosives cooking off at once. You destroyed it. An SLDF castle full of priceless technology, gone. Well, I wasn't about to let the Torians have it. They're shooting at us, remember? Yes, Mr. Vertinan, of course, you're right. It had to be done. That was an unarmed support ship, you animal. There was no need for you to target it. Tell that to the crew of the Newgrange. What, what, what is happening? There's like two cutscenes splitting off with each other. How do you know about it, that? Ostergaard, answer me. Cut the line. What's the status of the Leopard, Doc? Docking clamps are still locked down tight, but I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from there. I'll go prep her for takeoff. Darius, I'll need your help with the clamps. I'm on it, Lady Areno. I suggest that you head deeper into the valley. They'll have a harder time targeting you with that artillery in there. And keep your eyes on the sky. Mayor will be on her way directly. I'm guessing that they killed... Yeah, I see. The, the cutscene hadn't finished yet, but they, they destroyed the dropship. So I guess a dropship is coming in here. Artillery hits in three rounds. Moving out. Where's the secondary uh, LZ? Oh, I, I see it's all the way over there. Ugh. And there's two more mechs in the way. I'm gonna guess that they are gonna be uh, fairly beefy. <laughs> the griffin. The poor griffin is going to be the first thing they see. They've got a lock on me. Yup. Commander. So they're shooting artillery at us. I guess that was what the, was telegraphed by that cutscene is hey, they can just like fire and kill that dropship anytime. We can actually hit it. That's a griffin. Uh, kind of want to go for the headshot, but I know it's not going to actually amount to anything. I have a PPC and an LRM-10. Do we have ammo? We have ammo. Let's shoot for the ammo. We have a third mech making, uh, making itself known. We basically haven't taken any damage. The Griffin has taken all of the damage. I wonder if we lose the mission if any one of us dies. We have LRMs, PPCs. PPC on its right arm and I'm guessing everything else on its left? No, not really. Uh, well, let's get rid of that PPC if we can. Yeah, we got some Griffin on Griffin action here. Standing by. Not much armor left in that location. Going full throttle. I wouldn't mind knowing, like, how much, uh... Like what? What kind of tonnage are these these guys in the in the back here? The Highlander looks really beefy, and the the Black Knights, the Black Knight looks really big. Yes, I hear you. Wish we could do a jump. Uh, we should be able to take out this Griffin with any luck. Let's just hit it in the torso, with everything. 
There we go. Perfect. Target eliminated. Wow, we got a lot of mechs coming in. That griffin's gonna die. There's no doubt in my mind. Okay, we're gonna have to shoot past the griffin, but it's worth it if we can hit it with hit this with everything. What is this? A vindicator? Uh, let's just call that right torso. Okay, I'm on it. There we go. And then the rest of the damage goes to the center torso. We didn't knock it over. We got real close though. Oh, that griffin is just like absolutely eating. Oh, what do you mean, Azus? Or what do you mean? Uh oh. Is my mech in the danger zone there? Okay, I, I don't think I can really take too many more chances with this thing. So I'm gonna back it up a little bit. Okay. Let's get him out of there and we can start shooting the uh, Atlas. Or is there something else we can kill? No, not really. We can only hit the Atlas. That's fine. Or oh, sorry, the Zeus. I mean, we do some really nice damage to it. Uh... This kind of sucks. We can hit the Zeus. I'm going to try and hit the Zeus with everything. Um, we have a 2% chance of hitting it. Hitting the head. It doesn't actually have all that much firepower. It must be said. So let's just hit the torso. Or the um, shoulder, I guess. We did actually hit the head, which is nice. Yeah, the Atlas is going to eat quite a bit because they're all pointed at her right now. I'm here. That went critical. System's failing. Let's try and get that Zeus kill. Confirmed. Nice. Nice. Didn't didn't knock it over unfortunately. Got past the armor. I will rain fire on your lance and smile. Um, could we possibly kill the Vindicator with the Griffin? There we go. Nice. Target eliminated. There's still more. There is still more. They've got a battle master. Moving to position. My God. Do, they, do you think they have enough things? Let's just go for that center torso and we'll hit what we hit, you know? There we go. I don't know if we're going to even get salvage from this, but if we could, it would be really nice if we could get salvage from any of these. If we take one step back, we can actually get hit something with uh, the gauze. They've got an awesome and a battle master. Not sure what I'm even aiming for. Honestly, they're both pretty juicy targets. Roger. I don't think I'm supposed to try and kill everything, by the way. That's just kind of how I roll anyway. Highlander is going to be eating a lot of damage. I lost a weapon. Lost a weapon, but that battle master just made itself really, really juicy because it shut down from the heat. All right, let's see. I don't expect we'll be able to do like we weren't, we're not going to be able to take this thing out, but we will certainly do some nice damage. If we could blow something off, that would be no, nice. Let's try and hit that left torso. I feel like that would be a good target. Because it's got some ammo in it. We hit the we hit the head. 
There's the artillery. Fortunately, uh... Oh, they, they blew up more of my salvage. Yes, God damn it. The griffin's gonna get a chance here. I shouldn't have moved it, actually. I think it had, like, ideal. No, it, it's still good. Um, we could hit the leg. That'll knock it over at the very least. It, it, we did knock it over. Um, astounding, actually. We should be able to hit it with pretty much... We should be able to take it out. No, it's still got quite a bit of armor in its center torso, but... I don't know. If we hit it with literally everything with uh, right now, then we could potentially take it out right now. Head hit. We've hit the head twice now. Did we knock it over? Did we did we kill it? What was that? I think we can take it out right now. Um. Oh yeah. I, catch you, I, will make you pay for the I can't believe that torso still has armor. I guess we did not do a good job of hitting it. Okay, I'm on it. I cannot believe that thing is still standing. That's okay. I mean, those are some really nasty hits. We can literally see like how much damage that is in terms of our our armor can we take like a step back i would like yeah this is a bit better I'm moving out. i really want to kill this thing i don't think we can right now but well it's exposed we only need to hit it once in the center torso there we go your son was aboard the new grange wasn't he that's about that's what this is about he was the captain of the New Grand. You spoke with him. I listened to his flight recorder. I heard you order his death. If that is the truth, then you know that I asked him to stand down. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down. But even if he could, do you think it would matter? He was my son. Nothing you say or do can make this right. The only res restitution I will accept is your death. And so, Lady Areno, I am coming for you. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. I mean, go ahead and come. We're... We're pretty good. We could take out, like, one more chunky mech. Griffin isn't looking too good. Griffin may not survive. Um, can't hit the other side, unfortunately. We can't hit that arm. What's on that arm? PPC and a bunch of heat sinks. Sure. Nice. What can we hit? We can hit that leg. Let's go ahead and hit that leg and knock it over. Right leg destroyed. Knocked down. Cool. That's basically the last threat on the board. So we should be able to take it out now. Unless oh, they get to have a turn. Okay. Still, we could knock it over again and take it out completely. Oh, I was shooting at the griffin. How could you? It looks like uh, Highlander lost its short-range missiles. Good lord, I really wish that this game was better about recognizing inputs. It's so bad. <laughs> like, sometimes right-click works and sometimes it doesn't. It's just, like, really, really bad. Okay, okay. Uh, we didn't knock it over. We should be able to kill it here. I'm on it. Right arm destroyed. Left leg destroyed. Knocked down. It's it's done. I'm I'm pretty sure I took out both of its legs, so it should be dead. It's not dead, really. Well, the PPC gets a kill. There we go. So we're done. Um, usually in this circumstance, uh, the mission would just end, but because it's like a kind of scripted story, we're going to have to 
push forward anyway. They might actually throw one more curveball at us. Potential chance for that. I don't think so though. It seems it seems like a, a little bit absurd if we do. I've got you, Lady Arena, setting a return course to the Argo. We need to fall back to restoration space while we can. You know, if I was going to guess, I would say that uh, Lady Arana is going to get to keep one of these mechs because they are definitely an upgrade compared to the uh, Kitano. Kintaro, I guess. Sorry. Thank you, Miss Mayor. And you, Commander. You saved my life. The both of you. I wouldn't be too sure about that. If the Torians, my people, are on the Directorate's side, I don't know if any of us will ever be safe again. I mean, that seems kind of suspicious. Let's see what you get to keep. Again, my bet's on nothing, but... We, we do get paid, so there is that. Um, we did lose a few things, but honestly... We, we kept quite a lot. Fun mission. We do actually get to keep some stuff. Oh, if we had got... If we had had our, um sniper down there it would be a very different story i tell you that because we're only going to get to keep one piece of each of these fairly beefy mechs um there's a flamer plus plus not bad uh wow yeah there's that i mean that's the coolest thing here actually personally i would I, I feel like I would prefer to just take um, something from a big mech and then sell it. Get some extra money. I'm going to do that. I can always buy a flamer, and I don't see myself using a flamer. Take some more mech parts. Sell sell a bunch of stuff. We got, the, we got a flamer. We didn't get the flamer. Will we get a cutscene here, do you think? I'm always hit or miss about whether or not I should do pauses between missions. Getting to the mission, for sure, but, like, after the mission is over, I'm not sure. I don't know what it's loading exactly. Okay. We do get a cutscene. This isn't over, Lady Arana. I will find you. My son will be avenged. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. You said that already. I, w I wonder uh, how far into the campaign we are, because that sounds like they're setting up that dude to be more of a threat than the directorate. All right, that was a nightmare. But I think we're finally through it. I've quarantined the Locura in second storage, and I've shut down the drive. It can't hurt us anymore. Excuse me, Doc. The what? The malicious code from Nautilus. That's what I'm calling it now. The Locura. Uh, like a Lady Arano story. It needed a name, and this seemed as appropriate as anything else. Any objections? I don't care what we call it, Doc. I just want to know what we're going to do with it. What we're going to do is leave it alone. Secondary storage is now officially off limits. That means no more Star League maps. No more hidden archive, nothing. Put some yellow tape around it if you need to. Whatever you have to do is to remind yourselves. Just to don't touch it. Nobody will touch anything, or they'll have me to answer to. Samira was right. The entire Sorry episode was a terrible mistake. What are you talking about? We just got four ridiculously good mechs, except for the Griffin. It is what it is. All that matters now is getting this ship out of here in one piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're alive, Lady Arana. We even recovered a few battle mechs. I'm calling that a win. Don't know if I'd go that far, but I'm glad we're still breathing. Are you sure that the rest of the Argo systems are secure, Farah? I mean, really sure. If they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'm about 90% I'm about certain that the code was trying to detonate our fuel reserves. If it were still uh, still doing damage, the Argo probably would have exploded by now. Uh, I don't like the idea of keeping this code on the ship. Can't you delete it? 
with respect, Commander, that wouldn't be a very good idea. To delete the code, I'd need to boot up the drive. Far safer to just leave it powered down. The error gapped. I've error gapped it from the rest of the ship's system, so it should be perfectly safe. Couldn't we physically destroy it by slagging the drive? I mean, I'm not doing anything right now, and I know where the rifles are kept. I could nip this thing in the bud in about 30 seconds. I wouldn't recommend it. In the unlikely event that I miss something, I may need to re-examine the Locura, and I can't do that if you slag the drive. This is a worst-case scenario, mind you. I'd strongly prefer if I never had to look at it for uh, look at that godforsaken code again, but we shouldn't just throw it away. This Locura, this code, what the hell is it? It's a research research project, I think, some kind of experiment. The file was housed in a research archive labeled SDSM2. It seemed to have something to do with an old space defense program that used robot drones to shoot down warships. I know it sounds ridiculous, like some kind of periphery campfire story, but it's the best I've got to go on. From what I can put together, they were researching something that had, go that had gone wrong with the drones, like the M2 models. It seems that there was an accident, and the drones malfunctioned, and they killed a lot of people. Uh, the scientists at Nautilus were tearing the code apart, trying to isolate what had happened, until they stopped for some reason, sealed up the whole archive in quarantine, and never touched it again. That's the best I can give you. Like I said, I don't have a complete picture. There were hundreds of variants of the file sealed away in the Nautilus co memory core. I only opened the one, and all things considered, that's probably for the best. All right, you all heard the doc. Hands off the secondary storage. Let's move on. We have other problems to discuss. Like the fact that we're fighting the Torians now? Sure, let's talk about that. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I get that we killed the commander and Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually don't go to war over them. I think that the Directorate has been in bed with the Torians for a while now, Yang. That's where their weapons have been coming from. If ships like the New Grange have been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Weldry, and the New Grange was a Torian vessel, it stands to reason that Espinosa uh, and Protector Calderon have been doing business on the sly ever since the war started. Right now, the why of it doesn't matter. The Torians have just declared war on the Restoration, and that changes everything. Alexander, I need you to contact Lady Centrella and arrange a war council. Maybe she can help us dig ourselves out of this. I'll need you there as well, Commodore. Sorry, Cam uh, Commander. Be ready to set a course for Weldry. Back to Weldry, huh? <laughs> Roger that, Lady Areno. When we hear from you, we'll, be we'll come running. From one frozen hell's hole to another, I can't wait. You have bigger things to worry about than the weather. We all do. I must return to our people. In the face of the Torian war machine, I fear that our systems may begin to abandon us. The founding houses that we've already liberated need to see that our case isn't our cause isn't lost. You sure about that? Because from where I'm standing, things aren't looking good. I will find us a way out of this, Mr. Vertinan. I swear it on my father's name. And thanks for your help on Archru. I offer you Star League era Highlander. May it carry you to victory in the days to come. Well, we did get something nice, actually. Ancient model from the Star League da days. Its gauze rifle was a terrifying weapon that gave it a huge punch at almost any range. But you can't find those anymore. And of course, it still has the jump capability it's always been known for. We're deep in the Directorate space, Commander. There won't be any work for us out here. So we'll need to plot a course back to the Restoration. Come to navigation when you're ready. Our mech warriors are gaining experience and need your guidance, Big Simple. If you head back to the barracks, you can direct their, their training. Wow. A lot of stuff to do. A lot of, a lot of ground to cover. Um, we don't have enough for our last gunnery. Uh, Behemoth up, is under the weather. She got hit. Let's uh, give her some more gunnery, though. Uh, Decker got some XP, maybe? No. Uh, not enough to make a difference. Glitch. Glitch is getting pretty close to that last gunnery. Uh, Mandrake didn't go on the mission, and neither did uh, Medusa. Let's look at our bays. We have a lot of things to repair. We've got quite a lot of money right now. 
we can actually start thinking about builds like you know builds you know i don't know how to put it different uh combinations of uh mechs and not just like our biggest mechs we got a 90 ton highlander from that mission which is really nice it's actually starting to make the dragons look a little bit uh a little bit i wouldn't say weak but weaker might uh i think i want to uh, scrap the centurion at this point Certainly, I think that we could find a better, um, better long-range mechs. I wouldn't mind having a long-range mech, but I am going to strip it before I sell it. And I kind of want to sell the Griffin as well. I'll also strip it before selling it. It's a good little mech. I like it. But I think that we have to move to bigger and brighter pastures at this point. I'll get it in the um, can we visit the store? No, we can't. We can't visit the store at all. Because um, it seems to me that the entire play field has changed. I'm going to guess, yeah. So we were on the edge. Um of uh of i guess what what is this oregon directorate we were on the edge but now we are deep in it um i guess torian space is still just torian space so that hasn't changed we could go to our arena restoration section and um let's uh, have a quick look at I really wish there was an easier way to filter, like, mission uh, difficulty. Looks like three stars is pretty par for the course. What about three and a half stars? Yeah, we're looking at three and a half stars now. Um, what is this one? That one's two and a half stars. So we could go there and check out the black market. And maybe do a couple of missions. 120,000 to uh, travel there, though. Dang. While we're doing that, we could actually make an improvement on our uh, ship. May as well. Our morale is not as good as it used to be. So it could make an improvement for morale. Wouldn't mind having a third bay. Um, I mean, this is kind of a horse and barn situation, but I could improve our drive. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, let's, uh, we'll just wait out. I'll do a pause here so you don't have to wait through this. Okay. We have arrived. Let's check out the store real quick. Uh, I have spent a bit of money, um, to further improve our ship because it's kind of long overdue as well as, um, improve our morale, um, because, you know, we're starting to i don't want it to to go below that line honestly um let's see what we got in here we do have another awesome part um tempting if we had another one in the black market it would be worth grabbing it um we've got highlander part we've got three highlander parts might be worth having i haven't even looked at this thing um it's kind of a jack of all trades mech not a huge fan of those but the nice thing about jack of all trade mechs is that they make for great bruisers because you can just like put some short range missiles in them and then you know make them like lasers missiles you know it, it works in that sense um we have a zeus just the full zeus we do have an <laughs> extended range support laser that's an interesting one infernos we have a gauze rifle plus plus damn infernos plus plus what is this uh optimal 180 max so this thing is a short range um these infernos rounds are self-contained within the launcher and are formally inert no uh, what is it? it doesn't really tell me anything containing a napalm like substance that coats their target in a gel which burns so this uh this these are like heat missiles 
decent for short range. Kind of tempting. LRM10, Narc Beacon. Is this long range? Nope. These are also short range. Fire a single highly specialized missile that deploys a homing beacon upon impact. The attached beacon transmits data to allied units, causing the linked target to receive increased damage from subsequent missile weaponry. Interesting. Um, we could also buy some better guns, but none of this is really what we wanted. Um, it's all good. I re was really hoping there would be another awesome part in there. Just double checking that there isn't. There are three Atlas parts, though. We could start building an Atlas. Um, wouldn't mind doing that. 100 ton mech. It's, again, kind of spread out, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. I mean, once you get to a certain tonnage, like four lasers and two missiles, you can make that really beefy. Like, those could be four long-range missiles. It could be... Or, sorry, four long-range... Uh, uh energy weapons or it could be two long range missiles and like ppcs like you can do a lot with this um you don't have to go like all on one um so why don't we take a contract we're gonna want to raise some funds uh i'm gonna want to try and make the rest of the repairs to the argo um as well as uh maybe build another 100 ton mech and that's going to be expensive. We're going to need to raise at least another couple of million to uh, get another 100 ton mech. We're, we're very close, though. Um, we could try and take something more beefy, but this is three and a half stars for not a lot of pay, to be honest. Um, oh, we got four and a half stars. These are all Arana restorations. This is the problem with coming to the Arana restoration or, or you know, Oregon um, space is that all the missions you get are kind of ho-hum they're all they, none of them are for any benefit other than you know for uh arano so we could go one million one seven this seems like a good one i'm gonna do one more mission before um what do you mean we didn't need to oh, i didn't even oh this is a battle but we need to take a vip and they're in a griffin sucks um you know i didn't even really uh look at the highlander and i could have actually i could have set it up and i really didn't we could take it as is nothing wrong with that um but i don't like its armor distribution right now T tbh i think it sucks it's got some really good heat sinks i guess those are normal heat sinks nothing special about them um gauze rifle gauze ammo i'm not really a huge fan um it's got a lot of heat distribution for not really using up a lot of heat i guess the gauze rifle must generate a bunch no it's actually very very heat efficient so i'm not sure what the point is of all of the heat these heat sinks i'd rather move them around a little bit um put the gauze rifle in the legs Um, this is fine. This is already going to take three days. I don't like the... I don't like having any ammo in the torsos. So this is better. I like this better. Um, we could have three support lasers in this thing. Um, let's see. We can sort of max out the armor now. Not really. It's still better, though. Like, it's still far and above better than what they were just handing over to me. Um, tell you what I'd like to do is put, like, an, uh, swap this SRM-6 for an LR S uh, LRM-15. Um, this gauze rifle has pretty good range, and then we make this our long-range beast. I'll take off another heat sink. That'll save us. Uh, wait, are these? No, they 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 weigh something. Um, this is better still. I think we can we can still trim this a bit. I can take off. I know the medium lasers are basically always worth having. But I think I'd rather take off like that and maybe another heat sink. 
and then our armor is looking pretty good still not good enough though i like this though honestly feel like we could just get rid of the medium lasers and make this thing like a long range monster um we could do something like this take that off there and then max out the armor then this thing is like completely maxed out but if it's complete totally long range then i don't see much benefit from having max armor we could put a ppc on there that puts it seven tons overweight not really not really ideal i wish this thing had more um more missile room we don't we only have the one lrm20 and that's it so let's go ahead and confirm this this is going to be our new centurion I'll let you know when that's done. the marauder is still going to be part of our team uh king crab is obviously going to be a part of our team the only thing that's i don't like about the king crab right now is its speed is horrendously bad and that's not good when it's our short range beast I don't know if there's much we can do about that. Like if I take the coil M off, that improves our heat efficiency, but not doesn't do anything for our movement. I don't know if there's anything we can do for our movement, except for maybe put some more jump jets on the thing. But that um, isn't great for our uh, heat. I feel like those weird heat sinks on the other one are not worth it because these things are three each whereas the other ones are six each and i think they take up three slots i'm not sure um let's see how can we improve the king crab i feel like we if we take off the coil m it was a nice idea but i actually think just having another large laser is going to be better the coil M is nice and it helps to take out um, little zippy mechs, but that doesn't necessarily have to be the job of the king crab. So this is good. Um, I could maybe have another look at the um, Marauder. I think the Marauder is doing great. I don't think that there's much I can do to improve it, to be honest. We could maybe put another PPC++ on it. I know we have one now. Right? Yeah, we do. Does stability damage. It's not honestly super worth it, but I may as well. I like, you know, since we're taking time to refit our mechs, we may as well refit all of the mechs. This thing has the cockpit mod. Um, we'll still, this is the dragon we're going to keep. Do we have more better medium lasers? No. We have better short range missiles. Yes. Um, this one is extra damage and extra stability damage. We may as well swap out this one for another increased damage weapon. I um, think we're good in every other regard. Don't think there's anything else we can really do to this thing. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit and then um, I kind of want to do one more mission, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just sit tight i'm gonna do another extravagant payout i know that's a lot but honestly for the morale it's still worth it we're basically done on the ship upgrade so yeah why don't we call it here i know it sucks i'd love to do another mission well here we'll end it on an event while pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night you stumble across glitch she is fiddling with a stock lrm a jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck, plating around here. Um, as you approach, Glitch looks up, a sheepish grin on her face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this baby. Okay, so she's trying to do her thing. It could go badly, but I'll let her keep working on it. I, I just hope it doesn't end in, you know, her... Yeah, she suffers an injury. It sucks. And we lost two LRM-15s. I suppose that was a shortage that was in storage for a reason, so we can't can afford to lose it if things go wrong just be careful these weapons are meant to destroy mechs 
Uh, glitches in the med bay. When you visit her, she is grinning from ear to ear, despite her bandages. I did it, Commander. The LRM launcher is purring like a kitten now. Well, a kitten that wants to kill mechs. I even managed... Oh, I see. I lost an LRM-15 and I gained an LRM-15+. plus. I even managed to replicate the performance specs of the Telos long-range missile launcher. Okay, I mean, uh, nice. We lost Glitch um, for a little bit, bit, though. She's down for 18 days. Um, but we could have a look at um, the Highlander and refit it. Oh, I guess it already has an LRM-15++. Plus plus. These things are going to be monsters. I don't know if anything else has an LRM-15, so, uh, you know, it'll matter in the future, I suppose. Uh, let's look, get our ship upgrade, and then I'll end it there. Yeah, we I upgraded the ship's um, energy to max, so now that's done. Could improve the drive system. That's going to cost a pretty penny. <clears throat> We're basically raising funds for a little bit until uh, everything feels, you know, optimal. Um... I don't know if that made a difference to the Argo. Is it looking any different? Not really, still. I have to, I have to believe it does improve the look of the Argo by upgrading it. Anyway, um, we're gonna end things there. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.